In this step-by-step -step Ableton Live music production tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make music like Anjuna Deep like this. My name is Vlad, I'm a DJ and one man band music producer. If you want to learn how to make music like in this video but you are struggling with mixing, sound design, arrangement, uh, inspiration, finding ideas for your tracks, finishing your tracks, I'm going to teach you how to find your own sound, unlock your creative potential and make your tracks sound as good as the tracks you can hear on the radio, on the beatport. So if you're ready to take your music to the next level, if you really want to impact people's lives and you want them to actually feel the emotions behind your tracks, just click the link down below and let's work on your music together. So no more talking, let's start with the tutorial. So let's start with the sound design. I'm going to teach you how to make melodic techno bass and let me play you the kick and the bass. As you guys can hear, it's really, really simple. Uh, we have the root note, the F. We go down a fifth. So uh, from F, uh, C is a fifth. And we go up. So F, C and D sharp. So these are the notes for the bass line. And the patch itself looks like this. Uh, just a basic patch. I have detuned oscillators here. So as you can see, slightly detuned the oscillators. And basically, that's it. Really, really simple. Nothing that complicated. And there's one more bass layer I have in this track. And it's this tom that creates the groove and uh, makes the track more interesting. Because without the tom... And now with the tom and the drums. You can really feel that it adds groove and makes your track more interesting. All right, so that's it for the bass line. And now let's break down the main melodic elements. So we're going to start with the chords and I have a simplified version of the chords. So as you guys can see, we have F minor, we have C minor, and D sharp major. And if you want to learn how to make Anjuna Deep style chords very easy, very simple, I'm going to link a video like here or here. So make sure to go and watch it. It's a really cool video. And you will be and you will learn how to make chords without music theory. And now I have uh, this pattern, which sounds like that. So if you want to make your chords sound more interesting, uh, there are a couple of things you can do. You can move the mid notes like this, or you can also copy the, the root notes so you have like layer and the last thing you can do to your chords is adding more notes so i'm going to use exactly the same notes from the previous chords so for example here we have a c here we have uh i think we can try this one but i'm not i'm not really sure if it's going to sound good so let's play it sounds good but i think it will sound better if we use f yeah, sounds good. And uh, you can also add D sharp here. So basically, guys, uh, as you can see, now our pattern looks exactly the same as this one. And it's really simple stuff you can do to make your chords sound more interesting. So once again. Really, really simple. So that was it with the chords. And now uh, let me show you the pad. Uh, the pad is even simpler. I just have two notes like a power chords and uh, on its own, the pad sounds like this. Really, really simple, but it adds more atmosphere to the track. All right, the next thing is 
this melody, so let me play you. And I have two layers of this melody. And if you look at the scale, so we can use F. I'm just using the notes from uh, F minor scale. Really, really simple. If you don't know a lot of music theory, just utilize the, the scales. If you're using Ableton Live 11, that's a really, really cool trick for beginners. So that's it with the first melody. I also have one more lead melody, which sounds like that. Really, really simple. Once again, guys, we are utilizing the notes from F minor scale. So it's, it's really simple. When you are making melodies, make sure it resolves. So it loops in a nice way. Uh, in this example, you can feel and you can hear that it loops really good. So let's play together with the chords, with the bass line. And here I have just a slight variation to the loop so it doesn't sound as repetitive. And I think that was almost everything. Uh, here I have like an atmospheric loop which sounds like that. I just love using these kind of loops. So if you also enjoy using these kind of loops, uh, I'm using uh, Omnisphere for the majority of the leads because I really like using organic sounds, but it's not really about the sounds itself. It's about the melodies. So you can just copy the, the melodies if you'd like. And um, yeah, uh, the next thing is this uh, Fox, like vocal effect. <laughs> It really adds depth and uh, atmosphere to the track. Uh, the next thing is this guy over here. I have two variations. So this is the first one, like a boat kind of sound. So let me play you the kick and the bass together with this guy. This is the first variation and I have one more here. Really nice sound and uh, yeah this one I'm not using actually so we can delete it and finally I have recorded my oud it's an instrument uh, which sounds like that just to spice the track up a little more make it more authentic more interesting So that was it with the melodic part and now let's break down the drums. I'm going to show you how to make drums and how to layer drums for your melodic techno or melodic house tracks. So the first thing I have uh, are the hats. This one is really simple, just basic hat and one more, really simple. Uh, the next part. Uh, is the clap. I have layered three claps uh, with uh, one snare. And altogether, they sound really nice. I really like how it sounds in the context of this track because uh, I thought that the hats and the claps, they should be really, you know, stopped. And uh, I think I've achieved the sound I wanted. So I've layered three of these, really simple. I have a top loop just to make my whole drum loop more powerful. So uh, without the, the drum loop, it sounds like this. And with the drum loop.
and now I'm going to break down the shaker look for you guys. It's really, really interesting. Uh, I've been experimenting with some drum layering techniques and uh, basically uh, here I have three layers of shakers. So uh, the first one is the left shaker. The second one is the right shaker. Together they sound like that. So you can layer your shakers, uh, one to the left ear, uh, the second one to the right ear to make your loop sound like really wide. And uh, after that I have this one. And this one is in the middle, it's like the, the main shaker. And uh, I have a groove shaker, so if you look here, it adds some nice groove and I have one more as well. So if you listen to this one, and together with the groove shaker, and let's listen to the whole loop all together. And uh, there's one more cool effect I've used on my shakers and you can use it on the whole drum bus drum group if you'd like, but without the, the vocoder, it just makes the whole loop softer and uh, more like noisy. I've heard this effect and this technique in a lot of Anjuna Deep releases. So if you want to make music like Anjuna Deep, if you want to make melodic techno like Anjuna Deep, this is a really cool technique you can use for your productions as well. Uh, so yeah, that was it uh, with the track. <laughs> So that was it for today guys if you've learned something new if you found value in this video please uh, subscribe to the channel smash that thumbs up button under this video don't forget about the notification bell and also leave a comment and also leave a comment below let me know what you think I'd love to hear your feedback and maybe you have some ideas maybe you just want to connect I'm always open to start a new conversation with new people and uh, once again guys if you need help with your music production if you want to make a living of music if you want to become full-time music producer grow a loyal fan base uh, impact people's lives with your music and uh, make it in the music industry just click the link down below and let's take your music to the next level uh, thank you very much guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one Bye.